So that afternoon, I had four truckloads of corn to unload. How much corn? I go down there and start unloading it. We had a 60-foot auger, 8-inch auger that carried the corn to the top of the bin. And it was hooked to a PTO shaft to a 72-horsepower tractor called a 2640. And I opened it wide open, and I'm running that auger. And I start opening the floodgate on the truck and start unloading the corn. Everything's going good. Hey, at this rate, it takes me about two hours to unload two truckloads of corn. I got a hot date with a cheerleader after the ball game. And I'm starting, because, I mean, you know, it's my third senior year. I've been starting for five years. <laughs> <laughs> I taught my brother into grinding feed for the hogs, so he would do that while I'm, you know, getting ready for the ball game. So I'm sitting there, and I'm feeling pretty good about everything. Well, sure as the world, if you farm, you know one thing. If you're in a hurry and you're trying to get something done, something's going to break. Ain't it, little James? <laughs> something's going to break if you're in a hurry. That's Murphy's Law on the farm. Well, I overloaded the auger, bound up the auger, rung the shear pin off on the PTO shaft going to that gearbox. I know this is pretty technical, but we're trying to get this on tape. <laughs> So I sheared the shear pin off, and this was a new auger. We had not had a chance to tear all the safety shields off and throw them away yet. <laughs> so I went and got the 10 steps, cut that little ring on the safety shields, cut those off and tore them off, threw them away, because we don't need no stinking shields. <laughs> now, it's a 5 16 roll pin. I sheared the roll pin. I could go to Revels Tractor Company, but I know they ain't going to have it. Because this is what you're going to hear. Oh, uh, it's not a high-volume item. <laughs> we can have it in here tomorrow with that extra shipping and handling if you want to. But I know a little bit about agri-engineering, agricultural engineering. 20 penny nails the same size as a 5 16 roll pin. So I take that 20 penny nail, I drive it in there. What about it, James? That's exactly right. Drove it in there, bend it over. Yeah! I've only lost about five minutes. I open the tractor back up, start cleaning all grout. I know not to overload it, so I'm running it. And I'm feeling pretty good about myself because, hey, I got everything back running. I don't need to put those stupid shields back on. I might share it again, then I'll have to take them off again. <laughs> so I'm unloading this, and I'm feeling pretty good. Now, here's an here's a, uh, axiom of physics that you didn't know about farm life. If you watch a load of whatever you're unloading, watch it. It will unload faster. Did you know that, ma'am? <laughs> that's, that's true. So I'm watching it as it's unloading, and I jump up. I look in the back of the truck. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. I can't wait. So I jump up, look in the back of the truck. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And I'm dancing around, acting like an idiot. I jumped up again, look in the back of the truck as it's sliding down, and I took a step back, and I stepped one step too far back. And I backed into that PTO shaft, traveling 540 RPMs, hooked to a 70-horsepower tractor with a bent 20-penny nail. And it grabbed me. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When a 20 penny nail grabs you in the crack of your butt, <laughs> you know you've been grabbed. <laughs> it felt like somebody dropped a chainsaw in my underwear. Whoa! <laughs> I knew immediately something was amiss. <laughs> so I grabbed my and dropped. Whoa! Thank you, Jesus. Now, you got to understand, it's September, it's hot. I had a brand new pair of bibbed overalls on. Oshkosh, my gosh. <laughs> no T-shirt. John Deere hat. Wolverine work boots. Had them boys unbuttoned on the side to get that cross ventilation cutting across. <laughs> Nature's air conditioning. Whoa! And it let me go. Thank you, Jesus. Because I just knew it would kill me. Break my back. Flip me over. Break my back. Kill me. And it let me go. And I'm thinking my lucky stars. And all of a sudden, something's coming around going, wear my butt out. I turn around and look, and the bottom of my pants legs hanging off that PTO shaft. Boy, that's odd, isn't it? And just as I had that thought, I felt a chill, kind of a breeze cut across. The only thing I had on between me and the Lord was a pair of Wolverine work boots and a John Deere hat. <laughs> it had jerked my clothes off, fruit of the looms and all. I'm naked. Not naked, naked. I'm just as naked as the day I come in this world. My brother, being a younger brother, two years younger, being the loving, kind, understanding brother I have, saw this happen. As he's grinding feed about from here to the end of this room. He saw it happen and immediately fell on the ground laughing so damn hard. The boy could not breathe. Woo! 
He was laughing so hard he swallowed his tongue <laughs> and collapsed in a heap. And he started turning blue as my blue jeans. And I thought, oh my Lord, the boy's dying. Maybe I should run over and give him some CPNR. <laughs> and then I thought, no. How's this going to look? You know, I mean, think about it. Dad drives up, he's got one naked son kissing on the other one. He's going to pull up and think he done raised a couple of Carolina graduates. We hate the tar holes.